Welcome back to another piece of Top Choice Movies Recap. Today's film was released in 1996. The movie is titled, Set It Off. Watch out for spoilers and kindly like, comment and subscribe for more movie recaps. Enjoy it. Vivica Fox plays Francesca Sutton, also known as Frankie, a Los Angeles bank teller who was dismissed following a robbery because she identified one of the perpetrators, despite not knowing him personally. Frankie starts to work at Luther's janitorial services with her three best friends, Lita Stoney Newsom played by Jada Pinkett Smith, Cleopatra Cleo Sims played by Queen Latifah, and Tizzy and T.E.T. Williams played by Kimberly Elise. The owner, Luther played by Thomas Jefferson Bird, treats them with disrespect and pays them pitiful wages. Stoney finds herself being extorted for sex by Nate played by Charles Robinson, a middle-aged businessman from the neighborhood, when she turns to him for financial help to pay her younger brother's college tuition. Cleo, a butch queer woman, regularly experiences queer phobia and challenges to her womanhood. She lives in a garage and steals cars to help make ends meet. T.T. is a single mother who has her young son taken away by Child Protective Services and must prove to the courts that she has enough money to take care of her son. Cleo, fed up with her low-paying job, suggests that they rob a bank themselves. Stoney and T.T. are hesitant, but Frankie agrees. When Stoney's younger brother is shot by the cops in a case of mistaken identity and T.T. as son is taken away from her by Child Protective Services, they are inspired to join the robbery as well. Stoney meets bank manager Keith Weston, played by Blair Underwood, while observing a bank with T.T. Stoney began dating Keith Weston. Due to Frankie's intimate knowledge of bank protocol with money and security, the four women embark on a series of successful bank robberies. Detective Strode, played by John C. McGinley, of the Los Angeles Police Department, is assigned to the case. Cleo, because to her prior crimes, Frankie, due to her unintended connection to the earlier heist and consequent firing, and Stoney, due to her brother's death, are all suspects, according to Strode. His superior, however, refuses to allow him to question them because he believes the proof is insufficient. Concerned about their money's safety, the four women stash it in an air vent at one of their job places. When Cleo, Frankie, and T.E.T. arrive at work one day to find a new supervisor in control, they immediately assume Luther has found the money and taken it with him. The three women pursue Luther to a motel where he is sleeping with a prostitute while Stoney attends a banking event with Keith. They demand that their money be returned to them. Luther informs them that the money is gone and pulls a gun on Cleo. T.T. kills him in self-defense. Stoney is upset with Frankie and T.T. Over the money vanishing in Luther's death, T.T. and Stoney are persuaded by Frankie and Cleo that they need to rob another bank and leave town the next day. The women intend to rob Keith's workplace, downtown Federal Bank. Stoney phones Keith and tells him to meet her in a cafe far away from the bank because she is concerned for his safety and does not want him to know she is a bank robber. The robbery is carried out promptly by the four women, but Cleo asks that T.T. get more money, giving Strode enough time to arrive. Strode and his partner try to talk them into surrendering. As T.T. and Stoney begin to put down their weapons, a bank security guard shoots T.T. A shootout ensues as Stoney shoots the guard, and an enraged Cleo opens fire on the detectives. The women eventually drive away, though T.T. succumbs to her wound and dies in Stoney's arms. The three remaining women attempt to outrun the police in vain. Cleo tells Stoney and Frankie that they have to split up and to take her share of the money with them. The police find Cleo who proceeds to lead them on a high-speed chase until she is cornered. She drives through a police barricade, which causes the police to shoot at her car and blow out her tires. Refusing to surrender, she leaps from her car firing her gun, and is killed by the police. Frankie is found a short time later, and Strode attempts to get Frankie to surrender. Frankie attempts to run, but is shot in the back and killed. Stoney, who managed to blend in with a tourist group headed to Mexico, tearfully watches this from a passing charter bus. Strode sees her from a distance but lets her go. In Mexico, Stoney mourns the losses of her friends and brother, and cuts off her hair. 
Stoney calls Keith to assure him that she is alright and thanks him. She hangs up the phone and smiles. Stoney is seen driving through the mountains with the stolen money from the robberies beside her. Moral Lessons The film fully recognizes and acknowledges how the bond of a deep friendship with other black women can be necessary and life-affirming. To a fellowship and camaraderie with women you would not just kill for, but die for. Our protagonists leave no question that they are in this shit together, and these four friends would each rather die than return to that world of compounded oppression racism, sexism, misogyny, classism, or abandon each other to it. This story's indisputable valuing of platonic relationships and intimacies will forever be a gift and an indispensable philosophy. Thank you for tuning in. Please feel free to share your thoughts on the movie you just watched in the comments box below. And don't forget to subscribe for more movie recaps to come your way. Stay safe and have a nice day.